to be delivered essentially we've ordered a little uh, computer for the brewery uh, for the pub little desktop for the pub so we can keep records uh, like a beer tracker and all that kind of stuff cleaning records yada yada all that kind of stuff keep it all online and also just obviously have some access up here to some royalty free music and in the future I'm gonna stick some speakers in the corner so we can just uh, you know have a little bit of ambiance in the background. So whilst I'm waiting for that to arrive, I thought I'd take the time to just kind of uh, oil the locks a little bit. I tried the door thinking, as soon as the DHL van pulls up outside, I'll shoot out and grab him, because normally there's nobody here this morning in the pub. So they tend to just bugger off with the parcels, so I want to catch this one. And the locks were stiff, so I thought I'd just give them a little bit of uh, Ultra 2040, eh? So that should loosen them up a little bit. And then we're gonna go into the brewery and start the brew day. Frank Wright! Take it across to the till station where I think it's going to live. I think, and I'm going to plug it in there and see if it works. Well, we've got to set up, not quite in a final position, but where it can live for a while. So we just need to uh, we'll see if she boots properly. So if I can get everything pushed to this side or maybe even store this up here, something like that, out the way, then we can still run all the till system over here. Could find somewhere else for that to live, you see. Slide it in somewhere, just out of the way. Well, we friggin' nailed it. I reckon that looks the biz. Nice and tidy, in the corner. You're able to see it whilst in here. What more do you want? 
I can now install the CCTV on there as well, so we've got twice the access of the cameras, so we could literally have one large screen for the CCTV directly on that monitor, or vice versa. Or we could just play music videos on it, or the vlog on a roll. Hey, <laughs> imagine that. No, don't. Right, I better get the brew started because time is freaking ticking. Computer's up and running, speakers up and running. Brew day is uh, on the go. I'm just transferring from the mash tun now into the boil kettle and it's running smoothly. The false bottom is not missing a beat. I'm at boiling temperature, but obviously the boil kettle's continuing to fill up. I've probably got another 150, 200 liters to go. So whilst I'm waiting for that, I brought in an old cabinet that Stuart's just picked up from Facebook. It's nothing special, but he just wants to take it home to put it in one of his rooms for a little bit of storage. So I'm just gonna cut a hardboard back for this just to take the little bit of wobble out of it that's there and we'll just pin that on with the old uh, Brad gun that we've got from Tool Station. Ah, friggin' right we will. Was it screw fix? Anyway, so we'll just take out the old pins Cut a piece of timber, hardboard, and then uh, put some new ones in. piece of hardboard big enough so I've cut two sections that should be able to uh, compensate for that figure out which is the top and the bottom on here I think that is probably well, not much difference really It's a wobble no more. Right, <laughs> let's go and check on this brew. Oh, a little bit of a um, health warning video here. Just put my finger on some 
Persid 15. Look at that. See if we can just get the camera to focus down a little bit. So yeah, if you put your finger in, in like Persid 15, that's what it does. It eats away at your skin. You see that bad boy? It's taken the skin off. I can feel it's still stinging as well. So I'm gonna go and dip this in some uh, dip this in some caustic, neutralise the acid. <laughs> Just about ready to wrap up, the pumps are still on, everything's cleaning and I'm going to give it an hour to recirculate to, we've had three brew days out of that boil kettle so I like to get everything spotless. I'm going to have a pint in the pub I think and come back, turn everything off and then tomorrow when it's all cooled down we'll take the elements out, scrub it clean. Maybe after we've been to pick up these casks though eh? clean still gonna have to give it another cycle in the morning one thing I've noticed though this uh, this pump down here is not as powerful as the Clark pumps and uh, it doesn't operate that spray ball quite as efficiently as the Clark pump so what I'm gonna have to do is uh, put the Clark pump in series somewhere and hook that up tomorrow for an hour or two just to reach all the corners. I wonder why, because uh, I thought it was powerful enough before. Oh, I don't know. Slightly disappointed at that actually. I've just come back into it expecting it to be shiny on the inside and it is to about here. The rest of it's kind of uh, clean but not sparkly. So I think it's pump power. So yes, we might just have to rejig that a bit tomorrow. Anyway, it's not a big issue because the kit is now not going to be used for at least 14 days. So we'll strip her down and clean her up and uh, sanitise everything before the next use. I'm even taking the lid off to do some welding and modifications on there because the weight of this chimney is pulling it off to the side. So we're going to have to sort that out. That's a no-no. But other than that, folks, yet again, another productive day. I'm really pleased. I've just noticed the HLT sat at 76 degrees. That's how much heat it's recaptured from the boil. That's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. We should be uh, in for a bit of a road trip tomorrow and then come back here and a uh, bit of cleaning or looking at what we've picked up. We shall see. Bit of a bit of an unknown yet for tomorrow's vlog. So make sure you don't miss it. Hit the subscribe button and you're guaranteed to be able to see tomorrow's episode where you click the little bell. You'll even get a notification for it. See you tomorrow.